more IEMs to unbox today and yeah, the end of the year is crazy. Companies releasing IEMs left, right and center. Hopefully it slows down after December because I'm getting a little bit of a backlog. Now I have so much that I need to get to. It is impossible, it, it really is. So today we're taking a look at three IEMs, some accessories from Dunu and also this, um waifu stand um thanks dunu now before we begin with the unboxing dunu is having a sale starting on the 12th of december here are a list of stuff that will be going on sale and their respective prices speaking of dunu we have the new titan s colorway here we have the black on red now this is my favorite color that i've ever done for the titan s the original was kind of meh kind of boring ish and then we have the mirrored version i guess it looks nice looks better but this is sexy black on red red being my favorite color as well just awesome this is just a colorway change though so the tuning is the same but we're gonna test it anyway to confirm that the sound is the same all the accessories on the screen for you guys right now i don't know how well you can see that but look at that really nice matte black on red. The song of choice today is going to be Yoasobi's um, this song. <laughs> I forgot the pronunciation but this one right here. And let's go. This sounds exactly like how I remember the Titan S sounding. So yeah, same tuning, just different, better looking colorway. If you already own a Titan S, there's really no reason to buy this. If you don't own a Titan S yet, maybe consider this color if it's suits your preference. Next on the list we have the Celeste or Canera Pandemon. Now this has been getting some hype in the Facebook community so let's test it out. Remove the panda sleeve to reveal the I am sitting in there like so. Now I've always been a fan of Canera's packaging and this time's no difference. It's cool. Yeah it stands out. All the accessories are on the screen for you guys right now open. The cable quality here is actually quite nice for the price as well. It reminds me of the Olina cable, the Tripoin Olina and Olina SE in colorway and also in feels. Here are the IMs up close and yeah, they look um unique. They stand out, might be a little bit too gamerish for some, but uh, it's all right. All right, let's test this. This is good. Yeah, good. A little bit bass light. So for those of you who like a lot of bass, you bass heads out there, this is not really going to be for you. But for those of you who like a more, I guess, linear bass with a touch of extra warmth added on, people who like the ER2 XR type of bass, for example, might enjoy the bass profile on the Pandemon. Now, the upper mid range does remind me of the ER2 XR and SE as well. It can be a bit forward, which is to some people's liking, some people may not like it. Some people might find it a a little bit on the shouty side for me not really overall a well-tuned set it does compete with the other $50 and $20 good IEMs out there on the market right now but in terms of if I like this more than any of those or less I don't know yet. The last IM of today, the Tin Hi-Fi C3. Now this has gotten its own hype as well, so let's check it out. I just did a first impression of the C2 in the previous video and for me that one was just alright, it wasn't my favorite. It was good for the price, just not my preference you can say. So let's see if the C3 does any better. Here's a look at the inside of the box. And of course all the accessories are on the screen for you guys right now. Here's a look at the IMs up close, they look kind of similar to the Yume Midnight. You know what though, the comfort level on these are so much better than the C2. They fit super well. Alright, let's go. I like this one better than the C2. This one has a more relaxed treble and relaxed timbre in general. It's also more balanced, meaning that it has more bass than the C2 that kind of evens out with the, uh, the gain area too. So it sounds more balanced, more bassy, also a little bit more warm. The C2, that extension in the five to six K is a little bit too much for me and it makes the, especially female vocals, not as natural. Now I know this one is slightly bit more expensive than the C2 which can be to its deficit because a lot of IEMs are getting really cheap nowadays and good tunings are very easy to find now at around 20 something dollars so the C3 being priced where it's at is still good but you know other options also exist for this price range $20 to $100 I still like the Wan Er a lot. The C3 is up there but um, being that it is more expensive, harder to recommend. All right, that's all the IEMs. Now we have the Dunu accessories to check out here. Let's first start off with this <laughs> acrylic stand. This is the new Dunu Kima 
waifu stand. There you go. And uh, it's quite a big, big stand as well. So yeah, if you want to get this, I don't know if this is available for sale or not. Y yeah. <laughs> the next two accessories, we have Junu's new ear tips. We have the SNS ear tips and also the candy ear tips. The SNS ear tips, I'll put a picture on the screen for you guys right now. These are really good. They are right now my favorite ear tips to use. I use them on the Annihilator. I use them on the Oracle. I use them on pretty much anything I can use them on and I don't have enough of them. So finally, I have more. Now the size I recommend for these are going to be the medium or the large size. The small one I feel like is a little bit too small. If you have really small ears, sure go for the smaller size. But for me, the best fits are the medium and the large ones. Candy ear tips. Now these I have not tried so let's open them up. Here's the box that it comes in. Here's the back of the box. Open up. And there you go, the tips inside like so. Now at first look and feel, they do remind me somewhat of spin fit tips, but yeah, let's try them out. I have my SA6 Ultra here. I'm just gonna take out the SNS tips that I've been using on these and put on the candy tips. Oh, 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 SA6 Ultra is just so, so dang good. So good. Quick impression thoughts is that they feel and also fit like a spin fit kind of tip. So if you like spin fit, you're gonna like the candy tips. All right, that is it for this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Review for these IMs coming in the near future. Not the Titan S Black Edition because of course it's the same Titan S, but the review for the C3 and also the Pandemon is coming in the future. Subscribe, stay tuned. Also, we'd like to thank my Patreon supporters. We have Kai, Shadwick, Suni Roll, Norm, and Mr. Mason, of course. If you want to support the channel yourself, link to Patreons down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>